it's bunny um welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here i went ahead and asked on social media um for people to ask me some questions to answer i thought that would be fun for the new year and for the new start of this channel um because um i don't really talk here so i thought i would answer some questions uh just so you can get to know a little bit about me um yeah <laughs> Um, so we're gonna get into it. Let me just pull them up. So the first question I got is from C Ninja over on Instagram and he asked me what my favorite donut shop is and unfortunately I don't have one. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of sweet things. <laughs> um, I'm not the biggest fan of donuts. Um, like I feel like donuts are like a breakfast food but I don't like sweet foods in the morning and it's just like a whole thing. <laughs> So unfortunately, I don't have one. Um, my favorite donuts are glazed donuts. I'm very boring, um, but that's all I can give you. <laughs> all right, so next question is from Whiskey Banger. Also, sorry if I am looking down at my phone right here um, while I'm reading the questions. So next question is from Whiskey Banger. Um, he is a good friend of mine and he said, what part of cosplay is your favorite and why? Um, <sighs> I would have to say that my favorite part of cosplay is like, the like the, the planning that sounds really uh strange i would say um to most people but i really 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 love like the mind game of figuring out like how am i going to make this thing what materials am i going to use like constructing your own patterns for things like what can i like what material that would not you like that somebody wouldn't use conventionally could i use that would make this thing look like this other thing or like how would I make foam look like metal or like it's just it's my favorite thing I love like planning out costumes like I'm gonna use this material and I'm gonna build it like this and there's gonna be like this in the middle and like as a core and we can go to the to the hardware store and buy this and that to put on it to like make it look more like the in-game or the in-show thing that you're making um, that's probably my favorite part and um, it gets I get really excited about that um, I love like wearing costumes and interacting with people as well but I think that part is probably my favorite overall um, amazing Dom pool cosplay on Instagram asked me what my dream cosplay is and I have like two um, so one would be master Raven from Tekken um, I would love to cosplay her I love her um, when they introduced her in the game, I was like losing my mind. She's like, she's such a strong like character and she's a, a woman of color and it's just like amazing to be able to like, see, see that, see that in a game that I've loved for so long. Um, but I'm just afraid that I'm gonna ruin it. I'm gonna wreck it. I feel like that my skills are not strong enough yet. Um, so that is one, um, if I had the limited, amount of money to mess up <laughs> as many times as possible to get it perfectly right um i would love to be able to make her soon sometime in the future um second would be a character from digimon it is mastamon which is the combination of lady Devimon and ajiwamon and it it is massive it's full body armor it's got 12 wings it's got a sword it's like it's huge and i think that would be so cool to make like so cool to make and just walk around in I don't know how I'm gonna walk around in it but it would be pretty epic not gonna lie so those two those two would be the two dream cosplays that I have as of right now that could always change uh, next question is from X bobber I'm bad at pronouncing names but I think that's it X bobber and they asked how many hours it takes to create and build a costume by the way you were awesome oh thank you um it just really depends on what i'm making <laughs> every costume is different um it really depends on the difficulty level uh is it just sewing are you like working with foam um are you working with leds what are what are we working with um that's a big factor and it also just um, I'm kind of a perfectionist, so it kind of just depends, like, on if I manage to get things <laughs> made the way I want them to be made the first time, because, um, I'll end up remaking things a lot, 
or ripping seams out and re-sewing things a lot. And that can take a lot of time, that can add up a lot of minutes. Um, so it really all depends. Um, some of my bigger ones have taken closer to like 100 hours. Um, smaller ones, like, I would say like, a day like 24 hours max maybe maybe a little bit more than that but not too much more um, so yeah it really all depends on the costume and what materials you're working with um, especially if you're also taking into consider like dry time for things that can also add up really quickly um, but yeah it's very it's very dependent on what you're making good friend Boykins Hi Brandon, <laughs> asked a couple of questions. So we're just gonna beam through them real quick. He has three up here. Um, so the first one is, what got you into cosplay? Um, this is kind of a long story. So I have a friend whose birthday is on Halloween. And back when the Maze Runner series was big and they were making the movies, um, we thought it would be fun to make Maze Runner's costumes for Halloween and go to a corn maze. Haha, ha, corny joke, I know. Oh, I didn't do that on purpose. Jeez, <laughs> oh, okay. Anyways, yeah, it was like really cheesy. We thought it would be stupid and funny. So I was like, I'm gonna make like the vest and the little daggers and the griever heart and all these things. And I was like, I don't know how to do all of that. So I went to YouTube, went to Google, started searching up like how to make this, how to make that, um, paper mache and clays and all this stuff that I was like thinking of using to make this costume. And in the process, I found cosplay build, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Time lapses, cosplay build time lapses. And it was literally just people working on their costume and just time-lapsing it, um, just building it from the ground up, painting it, everything. Um, and I got really, really intrigued. And from there I was like, well, what is cosplay? And I started looking into it and I was like, well, I've always loved Halloween. I've always loved dressing up and making my own costumes and doing all that stuff. So I was like, well, why not? Um, and from then on the next, um, the next convention was SAC Anime right after that. And I built a Raven cosplay from Teen Titans and a Princess Kita cosplay. And those were the first two costumes I ever made and I ever wore to a convention. And it was, it was the beginning of the end. I've been in it ever since. <laughs> and I love it. And I made so many wonderful friends and met so many wonderful people and I, wouldn't change it for the world. <laughs> All right, so the next question that Boykins asked was, what character do you relate to most? And I think that's a really hard question. Um, I really identify with Princess Kida. I've always loved her ever since I discovered Lost Empire of Atlantis when I was younger. It's been one of my favorite movies ever since. Um, I just love seeing a like strong warrior woman of color. <laughs> Um, but I would say like, I cosplayed Raven, like I said, um, as one of my first costumes. Um, I did relate a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to Raven growing up. Um, I was more on the quiet side, more introverted growing up and moody and <laughs> angsty. <laughs> um, so I related a lot to her and I still do in some ways. Um, like in recent years, I don't really know. I haven't really like sat down and thought about it. Um, there are a lot of characters I love and I love them for different reasons, but I don't think it's because I see myself in them. Um, so yeah, that's a difficult question. <laughs> okay, last questions that Boykind asked is, have you ever been, have you always been a nerd or did you recently get into it? I have always been a nerd. I have always been playing video games. I've always read a ton. I used to read all the time like I would go to the library every like two weeks because I think you can keep your books checked out for two weeks and I would check out like 10 books and I would read them all in two weeks and I would bring them back and I would check out 10 more um yeah um I've always been this way <laughs> uh, you can ask my family I promise <laughs> I, I promise pinky swear 
I lied, I lied. Boykins has one more question. He said, what content will you be doing on YouTube? And that's a great question. I don't really know. Um, I have a couple ideas. Um, I want to do like cosplay builds and like behind the scenes things. I still want to do con vlogs and I want to be better at doing con vlogs. So like, <laughs> please tell me, tell me to be better. Um, but also I want to know what you guys want to do, like want to see from me, want to do. I can't talk today. I don't know what that is. Um, I also want to know what you guys want to see from me. So please, please comment, let me know or like message me on any of my other social medias. Tell me what you want to see from me because um, I will definitely take into consideration and see what I can do. All right, so the last question um, from Instagram is from Fatima Limba Le Leban. Leban, Fatima Leban. Um, and they asked how to build a following. Um, I can make a separate video for this if you guys would like. I am not at all an expert. I don't have huge numbers um, like you would expect um, like for somebody to ask that to me. Um, but I can, I can give you tips and tricks um, in a separate video if you guys want to see that. Um, it's kind of a long-winded answer. So uh, let me know. Let me know if you guys want to want to see that. Again, like I said, I am not at all an expert, um, but I will try and give you a couple tips to help you out. Alrighty, alrighty. We are moving on to TikTok questions. And I'm just gonna scroll through here. Uh, let's see, all right. I'm just gonna scroll all the way to the bottom. There's not that many, so we're just gonna go through these real quick. Um, NYC.dill underscore asked, how long have you been making content? I have been posting on Instagram since 2018, I believe, is when I started really, uh, really posting and getting into um, sharing my content, sharing my cosplays online. Um, I didn't get really big into like trying to post more consistently and engaging with people online until a lot later, like 2019, I would say. Um, in terms of like. TikTok, TikTok, I only started posting at the beginning of 2021, so it's only been a year. Same with Twitter. Um, this channel has been around for a while. <laughs> Shame. Um, I just haven't really posted a whole lot here. Um, but yeah, um, so I guess 2018, but it didn't really get super serious until like, I didn't get start getting more serious, there you go, until 2019, and I didn't get like really really serious about posting until the beginning of 2021. So that answers the question. It's very confusing. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Someone asked what got you into cosplay. Um, like what was the thing that made you be like, yeah, I'm gonna be a cosplayer. And honestly, it was just seeing everything online, um, seeing con vlogs, seeing these people build amazing, beautiful costumes and go to conventions and make friends and just like nerd out over things that you have in common because it's like you can't you can do that out in the world but it's not as easy to come by um, and conventions you can just go and like be you and just literally just make friends over talking about your favorite video game or your favorite anime or like anything like that and it's it's yeah I was like I want to be a part of that. <laughs> Mr. Kelly Commenter that's an interesting username. Uh, any advice for a guy who wants to get into cosplay? Um, this is another question that I could do another video on. Um, again, let me know if you want to see that. <laughs> um, but the first thing I would just say is just do it. Um, literally, just do it. Do not be afraid to do it. Find a character that you relate to that has a simple design um, so you're not overwhelming yourself um, with your first costume um, if you plan on making it. Um, or just buy it if you have the money to buy it. Just buy it um, and just do the thing. Do the dang thing. Go to a con, enjoy yourself, take a friend with you. Like, just do it. <laughs> That's the best advice I can do. Like, I can give anybody for wanting to start cosplay and who's scared. Just literally just do it. Um, you won't regret it. I promise. <laughs> Artist seven. Seven, okay, it's either artist seven or artist seven even. It's like seven E V E N. 
said, um, if you had any opportunity to master any one martial arts, which would you pick? I have no idea. I don't even know like names of martial arts. Um, so I really don't know. Um, I'll get back to you. <laughs> Uh, I have yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea. Vertically challenged another. <laughs> the usernames on TikTok always get me. Vertically challenged asks, "Do you even know how amazing you are?" Oh, thank you. I um, I don't know if I do, but I'm reminded. <laughs> so thank you for reminding me. I appreciate it. It will sink in eventually. I promise. <laughs> um, Flying T T A Collard. I friend Taylor, hello Taylor, um, asked um, two, two questions here. Um, first one being, what's your favorite TikTok dance that you've ever done? And I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't like keep them categorized in my brain as like, yes, that one was my favorite. <laughs> um, I just see them and I like them and I learn them and I do them. The end. <laughs> and then, Last question he asked, and the last question of this Q&A is, who is a cosplayer you want to collaborate with one day? And that is a difficult question because there are a few that I would really love to collaborate with. Um, I would say, um, just right off the bat, like right off the top of my head, Tiffany Gordon cosplay. She's an amazing craftsman. Um, her work is so, so, so beautiful. I would love to work with her, as well as Anelic. Um, she also makes beautiful work. And Cutie Pie Senpai, um, I would love to meet her. <laughs> um, um, she was a big inspiration um, towards the beginning of my cosplaying um, because she is a colored cosplayer. And again, she does amazing work. They all do amazing work. So um, any of those three among many, many, many others, I would love, 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 love to even just meet um, in person, um, let alone collab with. Um, but yeah, those are probably the top three, I would say. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that is all the questions we have today. Um, thank you everybody who asked a question. Um, if you have more questions for me, also leave those in the comments. Um, I don't think I did this the last time, but if you like this video, or if you like hanging out with me, feel free to click that follow button, or give this video a thumbs up. Um, I would greatly appreciate it. And my camera cut out. So with that being said, thank you to everybody who left a question. Um, if you have more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And while you're down there, feel free to hit the follow and like button on this video if you liked it. That would help me oh so much. If you like hanging out with me and want to see more of this face, you may follow me at all my other social medias. Link will be down below, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Um, I will say here, I do go live on TikTok at least once a week, so if you want to follow me there and hang out, you can do that, and I would greatly appreciate it. <laughs> um, with all that out of the way, I guess all that's left to say is safe travels on your cosplay journey, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs> I don't think you guys can see this, but I am wearing pajama pants. It has been raining terribly.